Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. Uh, this week we're looking at a, uh, a challenging passage from the prophet Isaiah to the people of Israel as they are living in, in uh, exile, uh, conquered by the Assyrians. And sort of trying to relate that to perhaps some of our own difficulties, uh, challenges, and how we hear these prophetic words that that do stir us and and challenge us at times. And uh, they're not always easy to hear. All right, I recently I was in Manhattan with uh, my wife and a couple of friends, and we were visiting the 9/11 memorial, and there was a guy standing on the corner, uh, holding a sign that said, repent, the time is near. And, uh, it reminded me that I, I generally have negative responses to those kind of messages. And I, I remember this video by the pastor and author, Rob Bell, 25 years ago, I saw this video and it was called bullhorn guy. And it was about a similar guy, uh, standing on a corner, holding up signs, handing out pamphlets, yelling on his bullhorn for people to repent. And of course, the portrayal was meant to show this person in a negative light, and you were you were meant to sort of scoff at this person and, and say, you know, what, what are you doing? Why are you doing that kind of thing? And, and I think we sort of, we, we sometimes have a, a negative reaction to that word, uh, repent. It, it brings up visions of apocalyptic judgment or, you know, those kind of crazy wild-eyed uh, street corner preachers. Uh, but the prophet Isaiah calls the people of Israel to repent, and he, he says this, Come now, let us argue it out, says the Lord. Let us settle this. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Repentance is really, as we've probably talked about many times before, it's just turning, it's turning towards God. And reading these words of Isaiah it reminds us that repentance is is a good thing, that turning to God is always a good thing, and that repentance, even even in the dire straits that the people of Israel find themselves in, if they repent, they can they can be rescued. They can they can find solace. They they can find uh, some relief uh, from the presence of God. All they have to do is turn once again toward God, and. Uh, It reminds me of, of I've, I've had several conversations with my daughter about college and, you know, with the various challenges. Um, and, and she had a lot of difficulties early on in her college career. And then she kind of turned it around. And I said to her, well, you know, it can be challenging and there are many things to, to consider. But it really, it really is, it comes down to, to a simple equation. You know, if, you, if your priority is, is work and studying, you do well. If your priority is on socializing or friends or parties or other things, you're probably not going to do too well. And I think uh, the prophet Isaiah would probably say something similar. You know, if you turn away from God and and live a life uh, removed from God, things generally are going to turn out poorly for you. If you turn to God and live God's ways, uh, things probably are going to work out pretty well. And, you know, that's really what repentance is all about. Amen.